There isn't just a ton of money left over out of operating income to go and spend 700,000 bucks. You read the New Yorker article that came out recently, kind of um, you know, really bringing to life the impact of the Cas Cascadia subduction zone earthquake, uh, if that were to happen. Um, and it, you had an interesting conversation uh, shortly thereafter uh, with uh, some well, One of my lender friends, sometime client, called me up and said, gee, my, my credit guy back on, back on the East Coast is really uh, concerned about this article he read in, in the New Yorker. And, you know, should we be pulling our loans out of Oregon and Washington? <laughs> I mean, and, and I, as far as I know, he was too serious. That's what the guy told him. Yeah. And so it's created an enormous amount of... of awareness of, this, of the problem, the earthquake threat in Oregon and Washington, and it's because it's, it comes from a publication that's so well known to the sort of the elite on the East Coast, you know, people who are hedge fund, you know, managers and insurance company executives, you know, they, they read the New Yorker, they read the Atlantic, they read Harper's, whatever. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are intellectual magazines. This, this stuff has credibility that it didn't have when the same article was written in the Oregonian or the Seattle Times. People weren't, weren't paying attention back on the East Coast. Sure. Now they are. And rightfully so. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. um, is there an opportunity for owners to uh, to get involved at this point in time? Well, sure. Well, you, you audited some of the uh, some of the meetings of the, mm -hmm. of the city task force, and I started out auditing that. that. Yeah, I think anybody with who wants to come to those meetings, they're open meetings. Mm -hmm. 